Hello YouTube. It's your girl Forever Chia again with another video. Y'all already know what's going on. Y'all know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Well, we're back again with another video. But yeah, we're back again with another video. And today's video is going to be one that is going all around on YouTube right now. And it's if I could only have 10 eyeshadow palettes. So let's say something mysteriously happened. All my makeup is gone. And I had to only choose 10 palettes out of my entire collection. Y'all know in my entire collection, I got like 30 plus eyeshadow palettes. These are my top 10 that I would stick with. So, well, I mean, it's no particular order, but it's still particular order. Here's one of my favorites. The Colored Rain Queen of Hearts palette. Y'all already know I mention this palette like all the time. I mean, come on. I could totally get away with this palette for the longest, for everyday looks, for nighttime looks, for full glam looks. I could just do a lot with this palette, so that's why I would definitely Keep this one in my arsenal of my 10 eyeshadow palettes. So definitely, definitely worth the splurge. This is like a $40 palette, but I love it. So I would definitely keep that eyeshadow palette. Another one I would definitely keep, the Jaclyn Hill palette. I love this palette simply because we got our neutral shades, we have our our sultry shades, we have our grays, our greens, our purples, oranges. Like this is just a good all-in-one palette. I really love this little corner right here. This is my favorite corner. But overall, I could get a lot of different looks in this one palette. So even if I had to like choose five eyeshadow palettes, this would be in my top five because I can get so many different looks out of just this one eyeshadow palette. So I will also keep that in my top 10. Next, if I wanted a little fun in my life, you know, let's say I'm going out or something, need a little color. Definitely going to take my Juvia's Place Masquerade Mini Palette. I love this palette, y'all. Look at her, beautiful. We got our colors up top and we have our, you know, go-to shades on the bottom, our neutral shades on the bottom. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful palette, affordable palette. You know, you can get this one for like 15 bucks now, probably. Amazing, amazing little palette. You yeah. know? So that's three. Um, another one, I would take my um, e.l.f. Opposites of Track palette. I really do like this palette. I love the way that it's split into two. This is a $14 eyeshadow palette, and sometimes you can get it for like seven bucks if you're lucky. But I love how one side is warm. And the other side is cool. Definitely like a staple. Like I just love the colors in here, especially this green, bro. Like look at that green at the bottom right here. Gorgeous. So yeah, I definitely keep this in my arsenal. Um, I love this eyeshadow palette mainly for the mattes. The shimmers are cute, but they're more so like shimmers than like those metallic shades, and that's what I usually like to go for if I'm putting on like a like an eyeshadow and I want something sparkly. So yeah. And there's another one, the Elf Opposites Attract. Wait, oh, that was what, four palettes? Yeah, I think I showed y'all four. Yeah, I showed y'all four eyeshadow palettes. Next, come on, y'all know she had to come with me. She is a ride or die palette. The Urban Decay Born to Run. Need I say more? I show y'all this palette every time. We have our berry tones. We have our warm orangey tones. We have our purples, our grays, our cool tones. This is an all-in-one palette. How could I not keep this one around, you know? And the quality of it is amazing. And the packaging is stellar. Like, this is not going anywhere. And I love the huge mirror it has. <sighs> so far, I showed the palettes. Well. I was about to say, this was the only one I showed y'all so far with the mirror, but no, I think the, I can't even find it right now. Does my color rain one have a, yeah, my color rain one has a mirror too. But I just love this palette so much. I love how sturdy it is. Like, I feel, I feel like I would feel safe if I had to take this anywhere with me, like either in my carry-on or in my suitcase. Like this is a strong, palette and the shades are amazing the formula is amazing they're not powdery because i personally don't like powdery eyeshadows 
this is one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes of all time and I would be def I would definitely take it with me. Next, I would take my go-to palette, um, the Soft Glam palette by ABH. Come on. All the shadows I could ever need right here. Okay. Just cute, compact, everyday eyeshadow palette. Okay, so another palette that I would choose if I needed to go to, like, for color specifically, but also because of the formula, is the Profusion Festival palette. This palette, formula is amazing. The color range is amazing. I will get all the color I would ever need in my life, as well as some neutrals in this palette. So yeah, definitely would consider taking the Profusion Festival palette, and you can find this palette for underneath $10, so a steal. Definitely, definitely, definitely check this one out if you have not gotten it. If you haven't tried out their other palettes, definitely, definitely, definitely check out this palette. I will also take my Desi and Ketty Frankation palette because, come on, we have our neutrals in here and we have these five amazing shimmers, bro. Like, like even just for dirty money, bro, that green, beautiful. These are amazing shadows. The quality is amazing. The formula is a little powdery, but not too, too powdery. Now uh, this, this right here is the keeper. I guess I won't take my, yeah, I won't take this palette. I was, I put this one in my top 10, but I don't think I'm gonna keep her in there. She's cute, but I do have these shades in a lot of my other palettes. So nah, we gonna, we gonna skip out on her, but that's the Juvia's Place Nubian 2 palette. And instead of her, I'm gonna take my Jackie Ina palette. We all know what this one looks like. I show this one in basically all my videos. Let me show y'all. Here she is. ABH Jackie Ina. Cause this formula is just amazing. The colors are just amazing. Come on, how could I not take this palette with me? Beautiful, look at that red. I don't I don't think in any of the other palettes I've showed you, I had a red like that or a purple like that. So in order for me to get everything that I want, I would have to take this palette with me. Jackie on the palette, bro. Y'all need to get that palette before it's gone because it is a limited edition palette. Y'all know ABH. So get her now while you can. Okay, get her while you can. And last but not least, I would take my Dominique Cosmetics Berries and Cream Palette. Um, I really do like this palette. I love the formula because it's not like dusty or anything. The shades in here are unique. Some of the shades, of course, repeat out of like things I already have, but most of them are pretty unique, especially for this blue. I love that blue and this pinky beer shade. But overall, this is just a great, um, arrangement of colors and everything and it has a black which i can always appreciate in the palette so yeah definitely would take this one so those will be the top 10 eyeshadow palettes i would take with me if anything were to happen um yeah i've seen a lot of different people with different styles and i love watching these videos so i'm glad that i was able to make my own thank you all so much for watching this video and i'll catch y'all in my next one peace